Yeah, Ed Wallace, and I uh, rep for Millen Environmental and um, Rubber Sales. And are you still in the industry? Uh, yes. Very good. Um, so you've been in the business for 55 years, is yes, that sir. correct? Uh, so what year was that when you started? Can you remember? 1956 at uh, Goodrich Research Center in Pittsburgh. And what do have you worked? Have you worked? What other companies have you worked for? Well, I worked for Firestone. I was factory manager for Firestone for 20 years. Um, I was involved and in, had the invention to start uh, international rubber and roll where you have the picture with the wrong date. <laughs> we did. I have I have the, the patent on that process. <laughs> we had it in the wrong day. Yeah, you it on that. Oh, yeah. Oh, is it? Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And I have that patent on uh, assembly line process to manufacture tires. And from there, um, went to the reclaim industry. I uh, had near par rubber in Trenton, New Jersey for 18 years. Then I was um, president of U.S. Rubber Reclaim in Vicksburg, Mississippi, until 2000, and they bought me out. And, and I've worked with Millen since 2000. It's quite a career. Yeah. <laughs> um, could you say, who would be uh, one or two memorable people you've met over the years? And maybe explain why they were memorable to you. Well, I had, I don't know if you folks are familiar with Alec Fair. Oh, yes. But, but Good Rich and with Michelin. Yes. And uh, of course, John Dick. And. Uh, people from Goodrich and I ended up uh, working with them and then selling product to them when they were with Goodrich and with Michelin. And uh, uh, many, many people at Firestone all through the organization and uh, of course it's not anywhere what it used to be but still when you're gum dipped I guess you're, you want to know about why you like rubber. At Firestone, I always said, once you're gum dipped, you're gum dipped forever. So. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm gum dipped. <laughs> it just suddenly gets like I, I walk in the rubber factory and, uh, you know, of course it smells like rubber. And my wife says, oh my goodness. I says, hey, that smells like money. So I just, <laughs> that's the way I always felt about it. So. Um, if you, looking over your career, um, there's obviously been a lot of changes that have taken place. Any in particular that stand out that make it a something that just changed in the industry? Well, I think, you know, the advent of the radial tire, of course, and um, the fact that, unfortunately, I think the tire industry in America uh, probably overlooked the competition that was abroad for too long, like the automotive industry did and the steel industry did. And um, I think they made great advances, and what they're doing now, they're catching up, of course. But uh, the competition from overseas, uh, you know, cost, like I was talking with the gentleman, that uh, the cost of the product's the same for everything. I mean, they pay as much for rubber in China as we do here. And what we need to do is think outside the box and figure out how do we do it better to compete with them. So. Uh, last question. What? What would you say to young people, to a young person looking to make a career in the tire and rubber industry? Well, it depends where you're talking tech, technical or sales. I've been in both sides. Well, let's of it, talk so. technical. And the technical end, I, it's exciting because people don't realize probably 370 um, different items go into the tire. They don't realize that. The tire is the only mass-produced product. For many years, was made by one person standing in one place, assembling the whole product. And it's like uh, 37 different elements in assembling the tire, and it, it takes a long time. That's why a lot of people have gone to the assembly line process, like I brought to um, Roval to the IRI tire. But, uh, we guaranteed that tire in 1974 for 80,000 miles, and Goodyear and Michelin didn't guarantee theirs until 1994. Wow. And we all we used was two synthetic products from uh, Goodrich that we mixed on the mill. So it was an exciting time. Yeah. We didn't make the $4 million we planned on, but we had a good time doing it. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Ed, congratulations. Hey, my pleasure. Thank Thanks you for so taking a few moments to talk to us. Thanks to everybody. <laughs>